In this video, I'm going to be going through the Life Systems Intensity 500 Rechargeable Head Torch. I'm going to go through all the product features. I'm going to show you how to use it and also share with you my experience of using it for both hiking as well as running on trails. Now, head torches or headlamps, as they're also commonly known, are a handy and relatively inexpensive piece of kit that is often overlooked. It frees up your hands for use with walking poles, ice axes, it leaves your hands free while running, using a compass or just to light up foreground when doing astrophotography for example. Picking up the wrong one can be very disappointing, especially when hiking across mountain ranges in the dark or running along trails. It is vital to get a reliable head torch with a good beam for use in challenging conditions. A poorer quality one might be fine for walking along a country road in the dark, but a head torch that delivers over 200 lumens, I would say was essential for any serious rambler or trail runner. Also, what's very important to remember is to always make sure you take some spare batteries with you as any torch, no matter how expensive, is useless without power. What you get in the box is the head torch, a rechargeable Li polymer battery and a USB charging cable. Those of you that have been following my videos for a while will know that I already have a head torch and have used it for a number of years, specifically along the entire Pacific Crest Trail. So you might be wondering, why am I reviewing this head torch today? Well, Life Systems very kindly sent me this head torch just to try out for myself to see what I thought of it. And I won't lie, I love it. And I looked online on YouTube and I hardly saw anything about it. And as you know, I always love sharing anything that adds values to my hikes. So this is why I've decided to do the video. I'm not sponsored, I'm not paid, so all the views are entirely my own. I just love sharing this type of information with you. The other two torches that I have are the Petzl E-Lite and the Black Diamond Cosmos. Why am I using this new head torch now then? Well, it's all about the lumens. Lumens, if you don't know, is a measure of the total quantity of visible light emitted by a source. This head torch has a whopping 500 lumens brightness and it uses Cree white LEDs, whereas the black diamond one only has up to 160 lumens and the Petzl only has up to 16. It has the unique ability of being able to use the supplied rechargeable battery or three AAA alkaline batteries, which is ideal for when you're out in the hills without access to power. USB charging means that I can boost the battery when I'm out in the hills just by plugging it into my portable power bank rather than fiddling around with spare AAA batteries. But if I need to reserve my power bank power, then I can always just use batteries. It has got an adjustable head strap and I love this head strap because not only is it adjustable around the band itself but over the top as well so it's got that top bit and it just adds that extra stability which I find is really essential especially when running. The unit tilts which I think is brilliant because this gives the beam focus that extra flexibility so you can put it exactly where you want it. It has five lighting modes and that includes an SOS flashing one as well as a dimmer function. You press the simple button that's easy to find even with gloves on once to switch the head torch on. Then you simply press to switch between the lighting modes. The first one is variable and this has also got a motion sensor mode on it. All you have to do is wave your hand in front of the sensor slowly to switch it on or off. Now this does not work with black rubber materials. When the motion sensor is active, the button will illuminate blue. The second mode is also variable between 100% and 5% output. All you do is press and hold to set the brightness, then release it at the desired level you want. The LED will blink at the minimum and the maximum levels. The highest one is 500 lumens and that's got a beam range of 150 meters. On the third option, you've got a mid-level beam and that is 240 lumens with a beam range of 100 meters. And this is stated to last about five and a half hours. 
The fourth level is low and that is a 30 lumen brightness with 35 meter beam range. This is perfect for just general camp tasks and also walking on easy trails. The fifth option is the SOS flashing. Now this acts as an emergency blinker and will last around about an hour and a half. It's got the focusing ring on the torch itself. All you have to do is simply rotate this lens ring to adjust the beam focus. This focus adjust option reaches between 35 and 150 meters. What I really like about this is the simplicity on changing it from a floodlight, which is the wide one, to a spotlight, which is the narrow one. The flood is great for those general camp tasks and it doesn't throw the light a long distance. And the spot one allows those long distance viewing options. I love the versatility of this focus ring and how simple it is. I do have another head torch where you've literally got to hold buttons down for so long to make sure that you've either got the spot or the floodlight. And to me, it just gets a little bit complicated, especially if you're in motion at the time. This one is just so simple. It's also IP64 rated, which means it is completely dust proof. There is no ingress of dust that will happen with this head torch. And under the IP64, you've got the protection of water splashing from any direction, but no submersion. I don't have to spend my evening run or hike worrying about wet weather. It's also impact resistant up to two meters should you drop it. The weight is 97 grams and the dimensions of it in millimeters is 67 by 46 by 45. The price is currently 39.99 from the Life Systems website. It is on offer, it usually is 59.99. To recharge, all you have to do is switch off the unit and connect it to a USB charging outlet using the micro USB cable which is included. The LED indicator illuminates red to indicate that the charging is in process. And then the LED indicator will turn green when it's fully charged. To fully charge the head torch, it takes about two and a half hours and it does reach maximum performance after it's been fully charged and completely depleted a number of times after you first bought it. Now there is a payoff with a high lumen torch such as this and that is the fact that because it's using so much more power the battery life will never last as long as those with the lower lumens. Now Life Systems specify that on low this should last about 21 hours but on high two and a half hours. I of course put this to the test as I always do with everything and I went out with this on a number of occasions about five times on low and about six times on high. So that's by using it constantly for those length of times. Now on high, I got an average of two hours and 40 minutes, which is a little bit over than what they state you'll get from it. So I was pleased with that. However, on the low, it stated it should only give me 21 hours and I got an average of 26 hours and 15 minutes. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. There is a change though in how manufacturers now measure light. So you might notice that when you're comparing battery life on one torch to another, they might be drastically different. And this is because again, in this industry, there is new ways of monitoring and measuring things. Now, previous, they used to measure the torches and the length in which they will last before the batteries run out by the light of the moon at two meters. So the usable light at two meters by comparison to the moon is what they would quote the length of the torch lasting. However, now what they do is they work it out based on 10% of the maximum brightness from the torch. So it's quite different. So one torch that says about 350 lumens might give you, I don't know, maybe 50 hours, will now only give you say three or four hours. So it's kind of crazy. So it's just something to be aware of. One thing to know is that this does not feature any other color light such as red. Red light does not cause your pupils to shrink like white light does. So it's good for nighttime use as it preserves that night vision and it's less likely to attract or irritate wildlife and even other campers. But despite the fact that this has no other color settings, the defining feature of this head torch is the fact that it is so much brighter than any of the other ones I've ever tried out. It gives me exactly what I need in challenging conditions when I'm out on the trails. It's so simple to use and it gives me such a fantastic 
beam distance so I can see exactly what's around me. And another benefit is I no longer have to keep buying disposable batteries. So if you are looking for a head torch that's got high performance at a sensible price, I would highly recommend this one by Life Systems, the Intensity 500 rechargeable head torch. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll also put the details for this in the description box as well as the link so you can see where to buy it and also if you just want to have a little look at it in a bit more detail. If you enjoyed this gear review, I do plenty of other reviews. I will put them in the description box below, a little playlist link for you. It's also on my channel. I've also got a whole playlist of hiking videos, if that's your thing. If you've enjoyed what I've done, consider subscribing, like my video, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.